Well, welcome to the Architects of Fate streaming extravaganza. That's right, you found the self-proclaimed original Twitch TTRPG stream that lets you shake up our world. Now pay attention because this is how it works. If you'd like to add some loops to this roller coaster ride of a show, you're gonna need fake chips. 
Now these magical loyalty points can be earned just by watching, following, posting, subscribing, or just engaging with us in the chat. It's like free money, Pete. With your fate chips, you can use your powers as an architect to heal your favorite players, summon items that will make their adventure a lot easier, or a lot harder. You can even make players say or sing outrageously silly things. Think of those possibilities. But, but wait, 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 there is more. You can also toss our unsuspecting heroes into random encounters that will leave them sweating, strategizing, and questioning their life choices. All it takes is a quick redeem command in the chat. You choose the item or action and the player you want to mess with, and we'll take it from there. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a mind-blowing spectacle of storytelling and mayhem. We've got adventure, we've got drama, and more surprises than a clown car at a kid's birthday party. So let's go! Hey everybody, hello and welcome all you architects of fate. Uh, I am Simon, and with me is my good friend Rufus the Robot, who just now got the script. Uh, this evening we have another installment of Cookie Trek, where we take some randomly generated uh, Star Trek themes, and with your help, break them down to a three-act Star Trek episode. And we do it all while enjoying some great cookies. Hey Rufus, uh, do you want to tell us uh, about the uh, the cookies? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to talk about these cookies. It's a it's a repeat from our Christmas Day show. Uh, this is Pepperidge Farms egg and uh, excuse me holiday nog, which is kind of an eggnog flavored cookie, and it's quite delicious, very buttery. Um, I would say actually this cookie is one of those examples that where you uh, it tastes a little bit better. I know that it's gotten stale. Uh, it's it's a little softer. Um, it's uh, but yeah, I highly recommend these. Go get them while they're still on the shelf. They're probably on sale now. <laughs> oh, speaking of things that have gotten on the, gotten stale on the shelf, Happy Public Domain Day! Happy Public Domain Day! Uh, this Mickey Mouse might be appearing in this episode tonight. What? Oh yeah, that might yeah, not too far off. Uh, is the the it's ninety years, isn't it? Uh, I think, yeah, 90, 95, something like From that. From the date of the author's publication. If you want, you can look up Steve Shives and uh, look up Public Domain Day for a rundown of what books, movies, and music are all coming of becoming available into the public domain. And believe it or not, um, yeah, Mickey Mouse is still possibly public domain. Possibly not. But only the Steve Willy version. Apparently the courts have... Yeah. Have not made a big ruling on that. Um. Anyway, somebody's gonna try it. Give it a know. shot, people. Go <laughs> go after the mouse. Poke, <laughs> poke the mouse. See what happens. Um. What I'd like you to do, uh, here, Rufus. So, what is tonight's episode, and what beats do we have? Well, tonight's beats are friendly civilization hides dark secret, visit from embarrassing parent. Dead protagonist is fondly remembered, and we're calling it Secrets in the Serenity Shadow. Mm -hmm. All the all the alliteration you can stand. Wow. Yeah. And uh, apparently, GM and the Great Barrier is joining us from his sick bed. Oh. Well, quarantine bed, I guess. He's not sick, but otherwise had to uh, had to obey quarantine laws. Apparently. Okay. So that's that's not great. I'm glad that you're not suffering him. Well, uh, hopefully your loved ones. Glad you're doing okay, but you know maybe I don't know. Is it? Uh, yeah, just just a, a near year precaution. I hope. Well, I hope so too. Uh, let me see if I can go <laughs> give out some fake chips. Hey, if you like, want to shower everybody, sprinkle everybody with some fake chips. Woo! Woo! Yep, and make it rain. Making it rain, and apparently we did. I learned that there's uh, a different way of doing uh, shoutouts. Okay. Uh, because there's 15 different ways to do everything. 
in um uh what's it called um not obs uh twitch uh because there's there's like these backslashies and then there's shout outies uh let's start off the year with a crew here yeah thank you so much we're gonna give you a shout out to your uh to your channel uh because the backslash shout out doesn't do that so yeah everybody uh go don't forget to go uh check out uh, GM the Great Bear's channel and also his Discord. Um, because mm-hmm. there's a lot, go- there's there's stuff going on there. They got two campaigns running. Um, and mm-hmm. and also we're we're working on uh possibly having a uh, a bit of a, a bit of a visit by by the by the great floating head with laser eyes, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> who will be coming to uh uh possibly set up a set up a bit of a talk. We'll have to see how it goes. I'll I'll work on a three. A three screen thing, a little gamesters of oh oh oh, yeah. I'm gonna rebuild a gamesters of Triskelion template. Mm. Like that would be kind of funny. Like it, thematically, it would be weird, but well, spot fucking on. I mean, you know, that's all about the quatlos. It's all man. about the quatlos. We have yet to do that. Okay, so we have our our beginning beat. Um, really simple. I've already in my mind folded two of these items together. Uh, which is probably bad, and we do have the. No, let's hear what you got. Well, I was gonna have uh, this be a Floyd centered, Floyd the Barber centered episode. Um, because he is from the planet Mayberry, or I forget what we called it. It is Mayberry, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just checking to make sure that I wasn't missing. I must have closed my resources tab. Yeah, so we've yeah, uh, Mayberry. Maybelly. <laughs> it's not RFD. They're at war. I like the idea that they're at war with RFD. <laughs> There's Mayberry, black and white, and then the RFD planet. They went. They went color. Oh. <laughs> if I remember right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, and we have we have a bunch of puns. We've actually kind of. Worked on this a little more than what we're supposed to for, uh... <laughs> you, when, you, when, you're out, when we're out trying to walk the dogs, and that's kind of tough as a cat to walk dogs, but I manage. Well, that's so true. You at least don't get tired. You can just go out and, and deal with them. Um, oh yeah, we gotta deal with this. <laughs> we gotta deal with this. Uh, neither one of us are really... I, I, I'm, I'm upset that they don't poop in a box. To be honest. I want them to do that. Um... But yeah, so what we've got is, um, are we gonna be, are we gonna be, I like the idea that we kill Floyd right off. Oh, oh my god. Because he, he will be the protagonist that is fondly remembered. Um, okay, let's say that's why we're back at the planet. Yeah, yeah, he died off screen. (laughs) Oh god. Oh, that's, that's just terrible. Um, and, and we've got him in one of those photon torpedo tube, <laughs> just like Spock. Just, just stick him in a torpedo tube. Just, we are not a sentimental mm-hmm. bunch here in Starfleet. Actually, all the cor- <laughs> coffins are like they they uh, they did that in uh, Enterprise where they had the the group of people who who were dead on Vulcan. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and um. Let me see. His actor was fired between seasons, so he's filmed. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna bring a stunt double. I like that. <laughs> um. So what we'll do is, uh, <laughs> yeah, the backstage trauma. We really do need to do that because that that was the part uh, that when I was refereeing Solar Patrol, I liked. Is we 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 made the backstage drama kind of the main part of the show. <laughs> um. And then the backstage drama drama got a little weird. Um, so, let me see. Um, yeah, we're just gonna be arriving, you know, orbiting, or, orbiting, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, is it Mayberry? Mm-hmm, yeah. Mayberry 3? No? Or is it just Mayberry? Like, Vulcan. Vulcan doesn't seem to get called Vulcan 7. <laughs> Or anything. Oh, I think we've got a way that we can recast the actor. It's going to be by this death thing. Well, I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's just Mayberry. It's just Mayberry? Yeah. 
Because I, I think what I'd like to think about is that maybe every place on this planet is called Mayberry. Oh, dear God. So no matter where you are... You're in Mayberry. You're in Mayberry. Hey. No. Well, we do have uh, the one other thing. Because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a very good Star Trek three arc here. Uh, very much, very much a search for. Yeah, a search for Floyd. <laughs> yeah, it's a search for Floyd. Um, it's it's not quite that bad, but it's gonna be pretty pretty freaking close. So the opening should just be a voiceover log entry, probably from Captain Esteban, uh, if he actually does such. A, I think he gives out log entries. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the bridge then. Yeah. Either that, or we're we're in the transporter room as as because he it's not worth doing on the bridge, or is the captain even going down? Because it's not technically a uh, member oh, of his the crew. Yeah. Does well, he need would, to go yeah, down? the prologue should be on the prologue should be on the bridge. Yeah. Well, it could be, or it could just be us beaming into Mayberry. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, and and he he says, you know, it's a it's a sad day on um, the fan service. Fan, the fan service that you know our our beloved Barbara. barber Falo- our beloved barber Floyd <laughs> has has passed away in a in a some sort of weird accident um, a shaving accident. I, I like there is another Mayberry we could visit, which is the set of Mary. That was that was Mayberry. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is it, this happened, and and I'm not going to and I'm not going to pretend it didn't. Uh, yeah, these must be the virtual forty acres bat lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's the courthouse. I'm gonna grab that. Uh, well, grab grab the black and white though, because that's they're monochromatic on this yeah, planet. So, okay. Do we have a black and white version of the courthouse? And why doesn't it? Yeah, except it's got Andy in it. Oh, that's fine. Well, it's fine. He just always stands there. <laughs> Andy with a shotgun. I seem to remember those. <laughs> yep. So I'll uh, copy that image. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna load us up with a number of these. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Let me see. We'll just uh, we'll put it uh, put in a new new slide for resources. Get rid of that. Start loading up. Uh, we're gonna load up a few si- uh, set pieces for them. Mm-hmm. This is the most inconvenient freaking thing. There's the. Boy, they really didn't have any. We're definitely gonna now have to put Andy and and Barney in this or some such. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a close up of Floyd's barbershop. Uh, and I yeah, believe that was in color. In yeah, there's yeah, basically there there's the proof that the universe has existed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the mm-hmm. lawgiver is Andy. <laughs> yep. Um. Yeah, this is all very much gonna be Edith Keeler. Oh, I want Edith Keeler to show up. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. I think why why the hell not? Midwestern town, comma, you know, generic, generic <laughs> which is the whole point of it. And I, I do love that that was the, the barber shop, uh, the four story building, the Mayberry Hotel, and Superman is there, and Mary. Oh, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that live on this planet. <laughs> yeah, this planet. I, I, that may be. Uh, one of the dark, se- sinister secrets about this planet is it's a nexus. It's a mm. temporal and spatial and reality mm. nexus. Okay, I'm, I'm digging that. I'm digging yeah. that. I'm, I'm liking... Yeah, why do all the buildings look the same? It's because they all they all tap into Mayberry Prime. And I think we shall now call the planet <laughs> Mayberry Prime. <laughs> and that that's the deep secret is Mayberry Prime. Oh God! Okay, so we've actually just got a great story, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's whether or not they want that secret kept. You know? Yeah. Uh, that might be our drama. Is is the, the do we uncover the secret 
and I think that will be good. Um, yeah, so there's Captain Esteban. Okay, so I'll get our, our, uh, she said I went to all that trouble to grab the, uh, grab the courthouse. Do I have the courthouse? I didn't grab the freaking courthouse. Oh, this could be all the people coming to Crete. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're coming to mourn. <laughs> Man, I love it, and now we've got to grab a picture. Of we'll grab some icons of Edith Keeler. Uh, you, you, mm. We'll see them out of the corner of our eye. This is going to be like, literally, we are the USS fan service for a reason. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, we're going to go in front of the, the courthouse. It should be that or the church. I mean... I, I was I was thinking maybe we just were having a service right there in his family barbershop, his, his ancestral home. Yeah, I don't have a black and white version of that. Give me a second, and I will... Oh, I, th I thought I saw it. Uh, you saw Floyd's. Yeah. It's right yeah. there. Right? Yeah, that's that's where we're going. Yeah. yeah, what color is it again? I, th I thought, yeah, I thought, I think there is a black and white version oh, of there, it, isn't it? Oh. Right there under your, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see if it, let's yeah, see if it looks is. any good. Yeah, Opie's walking oh, by. Opie's walking by. Okay. OP, yeah. I think we're gonna have OP. Uh, they have adjust the plants color spectrum to monochrome. Morning of Floyd. Oh, actually, uh, uh, GM, that actually is their natural color. They they um um we we dis we figured out that they all all are actually monochrome, monochromatic anyway. But I like the idea that there is a, a morning thing. Yeah, is and and who is Floyd to them would be another question. Uh, well, he's he's one of the long line of barbers uh, in this civilization, <laughs> and it is an honored profession. Okay, uh, order sent to that. <laughs> we need a torpedo tube. Um, yeah, we're the only people in color when we get there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, color just does not exist well, I think uh, that, here. I think, and honestly, I'm going to put it in that the color might be a clue. Like, one of us can get curious about color, and and they don't talk about why there's no color. And it's because they're, they've are they been bled off to all these other realities. That, that color doesn't transmit across the galactic barrier or some shit. Um, some, some, yeah, techno babble something. People are curious. I'm just making a note of that because... I really need to not make a note of it on a piece of paper. I need to make a note of it here. <laughs> uh, acts as a prime template for a huge number of realities um and then the persons persons can come and go between the realities as they need to oh, i like the hair giver <laughs> oh oh wait the, the hair giver <laughs> yes well i like the yeah. uh, they're like the allorians you know instead of listening they go out to learn about haircuts mm-hmm Rightfully small numbers survive in the depths of space. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna update uh, Floyd's uh, update Floyd's character sheet. Did Floyd ever even have a character sheet? No, I don't think so. He interned in the salon on Drock. <laughs> uh, oh see oh see there he goes he's he was out learning there too yeah yeah, yeah that's all brilliant okay <laughs> we'd retcon the shit out of that yep and also i love he is the hair giver <laughs> well he's he's um uh heir to the hair giver throne oh is he heir to the hair giver throne yeah. okay okay the hair 
to the hairgiver <laughs> throne. <laughs> yes, I'm just gonna do it. I don't care. No one can stop me. Um, mm. just just try it, people. All right. Uh, wants to sell his time share on Ryza. Yeah, so I like that. I don't know what these other things were. Oh, I just need to remove this. Delete row. This is what I was doing, rows. Okay, here's the caregiver throne. Yes. Um, we got to find out. Well, we're going to start building this family out, too. Was this what you said? It's like, oh, God, everybody's got so many... Well, I think we just, let's just say, you know, he's he's related to everybody that lives there. So Aunt B's going to be there. Uh, she could be the embarrassing uh, relative parent or, yeah. yeah. I like the idea. I, I need to do a format. Give me a second. Mm. Uh, and it's, it's, it's on him. Adjustments, opacity. Mm. He's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm actually doing really well with this shit. All right. This is a really versatile tool, I gotta say. This is, I tried Office 360. I thought for I thought for sure off, off, Office 360 would uh, do it. Uh, so now we need to find the photon torpedo too. Mm. Otis is no Otis is his relative. Oh, okay. Yeah, Otis. There's the photon torpedo tube casket. Because <laughs> it's not a torpedo tube. It's a photon torpedo. I mean, why, why did it come up? Yeah. I really do want to buy that. I don't think that exists. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to buy that really bad. Uh, there's the Mark IV. Okay, okay, just get me a freaking torpedo tube that I can just copy. <laughs> Love one that looks a little more like a, like an actual coffin. Mm. Let's get the one that looks actually like a coffin. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, I think I think I may have found my my urn for uh, ashes now. <laughs> Uh, Photoshop. No, that's not what I want. No. I want all photos. I want a Photoshop. There. We'll boot Photoshop up. And, um, you may lose our voices for a minute. Just, just don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We're still here. We are here with you. Where is that? Um... Do a Photoshop. Okay. Oops. Okay, and I'm gonna shrink this down. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is, um... Uh... Yeah, there's voice mod. Um, I'm going to add a, I'm going to add another element here, and that's going to be, uh, right, you're all active. So I'm trying to figure out why you're not, uh, showing up in the, in the active group, is all. Um. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, someone mentioned that you don't, and if you talk, it's, it bounces, right? Yep, yep, it does. Yeah, no, I don't need active sources. I need inactive sources. Ah, there we go. The alert box, the audio capture, the dice overlay. Well, dice overlay should be active. Follower goal, full intro. Okay, well, I don't know... 
why your uh, your graphic your audio source doesn't come in. Um. Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay. Let's uh, let's do this with your audio. All right, I'm I'm gonna pop this up. We're just gonna do some experimenting. Sorry, folks. What? All right, go ahead and talk. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, okay, it did start. It did make it. Okay. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna do something to get. Uh, get that. I don't know why Rufus Source is... Hmm, it's still not working, huh? Eh, yeah, we'll just shrinky-dink that down. To virtually nothing. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens when that, when that comes around uh, later. I think I may have replicated a source and not done it right. Okay. All right, so either way, you can now talk and be heard. Okay, I'm back in the New York groove. So what's going on? All right, uh, this is so we can banter while I'm doing uh, cleanup. Uh, this is the okay. only reason we're doing this, is because I, I wanted to, I wanted to oh, clean okay. up. Okay, we get, just have to banter while you're doing this? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, sorry about that, <laughs> everybody, but, you know, hey, this... Yeah. Um, you know, professionalism How is... How the sausage is made. Professionalism is a really, you know, over overblown concept in my opinion <laughs> you know it's not why you come to twitch i suppose <laughs> no come for the boobies apparently apparently coming for the boobies is important um mm -hmm. somebody said that they've they backed off on the artistic nudity because people have just exploited the crap out of it <laughs> oh well. what a shock right they, they they didn't anticipate that people would do well, there's a reason we have traffic lights there's a reason we have warning labels on, on everything. Everything. Because somebody at some point freaking sued somebody mm -hmm. or threatened it. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, every dumb move you make expands the government's power. It is really, mm -hmm. and I am not a you know I'm not an anti-government person, but I am I am I am getting near. I'm 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 definitely, I definitely empathize with people who are. Uh, not super excited to see people from the government show up. Anyway. Uh, let me see. Select. Yeah, what did I do here? All right, these like yeah, going down the libertarian I am going uh, way down the ranty. Just, I'm going down the ranty like, hole. It's like, you know, couldn't think of anything better to talk about? No, apparently right? not. I, I really am um, starting the new year off with a... Mm. Okay. Happy New Year! I mean, you can walk around and all that stuff. Um... I mean, you can walk around. I get, I get caught on things. I get hung up on stuff. Okay. Always complaining. Exactly. We're gonna do it out of spite. Okay. PNG, 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 PNG. Yeah. The funny thing is, it doesn't show my dialogues. Mm. But I do like that we're gonna have a coffin. Yeah, the dialogues don't show up. Okay. Well. Your my let's see what this did to your what my little shenanigans with um mm -hmm. with the uh the badge did here. We'll go back to Duo Rufus. So listen to your own voice if you can, Rufus. Uh listen to my own voice? Well, on on the broadcast. Okay, hang on a sec, let me see. Uh Okay, okay, what's going on? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. We're back. We're back. All right. So I got that done. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. So we arrived with a coffin because I we're going to put this coffin in a lot of scenes now because I spent a <laughs> lot of time grabbing that and we technically and we unraveled some technical uh, issues. Because I like having banter with you while we're talking, while we're drawing. Yeah. Well, okay. Doing draw, draw. Uh, but I think, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, uh, the coffin just has to show up in everything for the rest of the show. Yes. And possibly into the next show. Who knows? Oh, we're putting this coffin as everybody's coffin. It... <laughs> nope, there it is. Huge. It's a huge coffin. I love the idea. It's like giant coffin. Um, or is it just close? <laughs> it's really close. We're gonna do forced perspective. 
mm-hmm. on this. Uh, rotate, flip horizontally. There. Looks a little bit more like it fits. Oh, I am, I am definitely going to do this. I don't know why. There. All right. So we got the coffin. Uh, Esteban doesn't have to go down, right? Was that what we decided? Oh, of course not. Uh, let's see. It should be um, uh, the counselor. Died in a tragic, what tra- What do we call it? A tragic razor, a razor incident? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cause under, but it's, yeah. Oh, come on. There. Yeah. So, um, and the ship's counselor. Yeah, I suppose any who would you, who do we think might be actually just good friends with Lloyd? Nobody. <laughs> I don't think anybody liked him. Um Yeah, uh we'll have the counselor yeah. come down. It doesn't sound very beloved, does it? Yeah, we need to have more beloved. I think Pat likes him. Yeah, uh, let's, let's do cat. I mean, who hasn't got a lot of play lately? Uh, everybody on that page has been pretty active. Okay, uh, we'll go down to our secondaries, <laughs> tertiaries, women. Uh, let's do Aldo, uh, Lieutenant Aldo. Okay. Yep. And and let's Lieutenant Lynch because she's on the same pages. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the same page as Beloit. Literally, I like that idea. <laughs> Literally on the same page and figuratively on the same page. <laughs> Wait. Oh, he was a tertiary. Uh, astrometrics, animal trainer, and sorry, Lynch didn't make it back from first contact. What? I don't know. Oh, what? <laughs> she didn't make it back from first contact? <laughs> I don't know what that was about. We're gonna have to review. Well, let's let, let's just say she pops up and, and nothing gets explained. <laughs> yep. So, uh, you know, um, the landing party is delivering his remains to Mayberry. Mm-hmm. And I think the first thing we got to do is is what's our shocker is that there's just someone else that looks like Floyd. That his whole family looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, format. Also, uh, I'm going to say that Lieutenant Lynch has been mm-hmm. experiencing... Well, it was, it was giving... Uh, yeah, when, while giving Aldo a haircut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like the idea because we are going full full Star Trek three with this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, gonna grab another copy of Floyd. We may <laughs> go grab several copies of Floyd. I mean, the nice part is now we can bring in characters and actors from the Twilight Zone, anything from black and white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Twilight Zone. Uh, what's going to happen is uh, they're just going to have an apostrophe in a different spot. <laughs> yeah. The <Well>, Oid. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and then there's, you know, that one, yeah. There we go. We'll make one slightly bigger. 
Uh, I'm going to format these. Uh, going back to format options, and the reason I'm doing this is not adjustments, it's recolor. Uh, so we'll, we'll just have a red, yellow, blue. Oh, there's going to be somebody who's taupe. I know it, I know it violates our requirement. Uh, for the, everything to be black and white, but it might be easier. Vaguely greeny. There. Okay, so all the floods are now taken care of. <laughs> oh god, this is ridiculous. So, do we find out right away that we need to take him to No, no, Mount that's Pilot? that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna um Yeah, we're gonna be greeted and yeah, we might wanna just do the Mount Pilot joke right off the bat. But I mm -hmm. like the idea better that our whole our whole thing is we just meet them. You know, mm -hmm. we just, it's like we didn't realize there was a whole planet full of clowns. You know, well, that'll be the teaser. Yeah. Keep in mind, we just got the teaser. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you know, maybe there's clones, and then that's our teaser, and then we can move on with, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, with the rest of the story. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, did you eat all your food, Greg? Yeah, you did, fucker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so let me see, Mayberry, Mayberry has the clones, and now, uh, Act 2, are we gonna just open up on the, back up on the, the shop? Mm-hmm, yep, we're just back again. Nobody's moved. <laughs> dun dun! Okay, and we'll leave off with Mayberry's full of clones. We'll get rid of that. Okay, so Mayberry is full of clones, and I don't know what to do about that. Um, yeah, and at that point, does does uh, Full Oid, um, Full Oid, uh, comes out and and uh, you know examines the body. Mm -hmm. Um, checks his mustache. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, finds it lacking in some kind of vital element. Um, yeah, it's poorly, it's poorly styled. <laughs> like, I've got an idea, because Aldo has a mustache. I'm going to have mm -hmm. energy transmitted mm -hmm. through the mustache. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And it's absolutely. I just, I just, now that I noticed that Aldo had a mustache, that that Floyd can only mm -hmm. do this. It's like, uh, whatever the uninvincible, those ba the, the virulons, or what, virtalons, or whatever they're called, is, they all are mustache-driven, which is really weird. Mm-hmm. I, I think of it for mites. I, I think it's funny because that's the weirdest thing is like most, most characters don't have facial hair in comics, so they must have just done it out of spite. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do that. Why? Because nobody else does them. Um, okay, so yeah, there's a missing uh, some kind of element, uh, and, and the, uh, we, we start getting the, cat, the crew gets interrogated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, who was with him, you know, this sort of thing. What happened? Uh, and we also get that new note um, that we finally get his tag that he's heir to the hairgiver throne. <laughs> Which is funny because now we're get yet another... Uh, Uh, yeah, and and do they do things get rough? How do they? How do we want to uh, do this? You know, like um, 
Well, this is when we have to go see the Oracle, Aunt B. Okay. And the lawgiver, Andy, or... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got Floyd um, was on a quest to learn more haircuts. Hairstyles. He should have returned after his time on, uh, yeah, I like after, after his time on drug. I'm willing, yeah, that, he should have come back, mm -hmm. and that was a problem. Mm hmm mm hmm He did not return at the appointed time. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go and see. Uh, but Lloyd was a, a bit of a rebel. He was. He was a rebel, and he, he paid the price. Uh, there's, there's a <laughs> reason for these rules, man. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mayberry Aunt B's house. Are you in T? Uh, Aunt B's... No, there's Aunt B. I got, I got it. Oh, Aunt B. <laughs> oh, Aunt B. Oh. We, need the, we need the scowly one. Ah, uh, that's the judgy Aunt B. There we go. Yeah, is that the the scowly one? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for a confirmation from you, bro. She's a, she's a little more frightening there. <laughs> I don't know. It's the smiling one that's the most frightening, in my opinion. But yes, <laughs> Aunt B's dying words. What? No, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> Although that's also terrifying. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh, I need to see if she, I need to see what she looks like. Yeah, she's in mourning right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, does that work about right? That works just fine. She looks a little too jaunty in her cap, but I, I do like I do like that we've got some funeral clothes on her. Well, you know, she's always bubbly. She tries to be positive and upbeat. All right. Uh, 1930s, 1930s. I don't remember if she's 1940s or 1930s. It was, I think she, she probably had a 50s. Yeah, it's 50s kitchen. It's TV, you know. There. Boom. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's <laughs> absolutely it. Uh, copy image. Oh, man, that is... We can't ask for better stuff than this. This is just brilliant. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, mm -hmm. And we have to come with... Is it Strack or is it Aldo? Or does, do we just bring the whole party oh, or I not? Think it's, I think it's... Yeah, it's all of us, you know. We, yeah, yeah. And, and the other Floyds can just stay out because they, they're sending us on this mission for whatever reason. Well, this is the Chief Floyd. Mm hmm He is the hair giver. He is the hair giver. <laughs> he's due to retire. Yeah, he's due to retire. He's, I've been here too long. I've been here too I just want to go fishing. I want to spend a lot of time fishing. Yeah. Uh, I think that he's the he's the hair giver. <laughs> and I, mm. Although it would be weird because it, it should be like where the apostrophe is should like designate their line of succession, but we kind of messed it up and we're just going to pretend that that's... That really, I think that maybe Prime, this Floyd, was supposed to be, and now he, mm. he should be returning to his rightful place. Yes! I like that better. Because the apostrophes work... It, he he really should be the hair giver. Mm. 
Yeah, um, but ran away. Well, he's like uh, uh, the character from Lower Decks, the one that doesn't want to yeah, yeah. assume uh, the throne or whatever. Oh, yeah, no, that's exactly what I was I was thinking, it, which is really funny that we're falling in. I mean, these are all the tropes. I mean, we've also got uh, Tindy has the exact same issue. Mm-hmm. Um, look, mm-hmm. we're just not going to be very uh, creative. If, if they're not putting in the effort, <laughs> neither are we. I know. If, you know, if they're doing this shit... <laughs> Um, okay, so, um, yeah, that, and it, what is it, like, the, 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 the loss of, what do we call them, is Moxie? Uh, what would it be? Yeah, Moxie sounds good, that sounds like a real 50s sort of, you know. We've lost his Moxie, where do you, where do you think his Moxie went? Did anybody get his Moxie? <laughs> yeah. And uh, their eyes fall on <clears throat> Aldo's uh, magnificent mustache. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the idea that we've got we've got to climb the steps to Mount, of Mount Pilot, which is just the best thing in the world. <laughs> we have to go get it into a suit in Mount Pilot. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah, he needs his new suit. Um, yeah, um, uh, you know, they check, and yep, the Moxie's damned if the, I'll be damned if the Moxie's not in there. I mean, you know, who would have thunk it? Uh, let me see. Aldo says something like, oh, God, the, I, God damn it, I got the Moxie. I caught a case of the Moxie. Maybe you should contact uh, Jim the Great Barrier and go into quarantine. <laughs> um, yes. The heebie jeebies. No, yeah, don't use that term. Oh, is it? Uh, yep. Huh? Yep, can't use it. All right, got it. Thank you. Oh, now, I, now it's all I ever want to say. Okay, um... Well, just boxy. <laughs> that's not quite it, but okay. Um... I'm gonna go link. Well, because it... Because Aldo starts using phrases like that. But because he's already 1940s coded, I guess, uh... It's starting to come out. He's gonna say things like 23 skidoo. Nineteen forty slang for anxious. Oh God. Oh, this is dumb. All right. Yeah, your dictionary. You are your dictionary. Okay. Yeah. So I'm guessing have cats. Yeah, there's not something for for worried. That's uh, they're, they're both just stealing stuff from them. I got a case of the moxies. We're gonna go with that. Or jitterbugs. I don't know. Just... I'm yeah, waiting just... for that to go on the pile too, because I'm pretty sure where yeah. that came from too. Um, <laughs> I'm yeah. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't a stage play for the Wizard of Oz. They just made you dance to death or something. Because we didn't want to have opium in the school plays, apparently, for the poppies. Uh, okay, we're getting too bogged down. Let's move. Although, I got a case of the moxies. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, B says... And get your suit. We're just going to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mayberry. Mm 
downtown Mount Pilot made. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a real place. It is a real place. Okay. <laughs> um, I do like the idea of, of that, but also Petticoat Junction. You know, don't stop at Petticoat Junction, because these are all contemporaneous shows. <laughs> yeah. Don't stop at Bug Tussle. Yes, do not stop at Bug Tussle. <laughs> so this is going to be good. Um, yeah, now we have to climb the steps of Mount Pilot uh, to, to see what we can do. That sounds like a good mm -hmm. quest. Now Act 2 is on the way. Yeah, are we on the way in Act 2? I think so. Okay, on the road. Uh, is it driving or... Are we taking driving or are we taking a train or a bus? Uh, I like the idea of taking I a bus. Think... What? Or, or we're in like a, you know, like a, a pickup truck with the, uh, with the coffin in the back, you know? <laughs> On it. <laughs> uh, I think that's exactly it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here we are. <laughs> We're all sitting in the front seat because there is no other seat. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. What? Oh. Okay, are we... We're not taking Floyd, though, are we? Uh, no, he's going to send us off on our own. Because uh, it, it'll be more like a fish-out-of-water kind of, kind of show. journey. Yeah, I like the idea that they yeah. must go alone. You know, they're the last ones to see him as some kind of mumbo jumbo rule. Oh dear, this is just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that is a funny looking image. Uh, let me see, I need a picture of. <sighs> Yeah, we're just going to go through the windshield on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, TV show picture of interior of a truck. Come on, you know what I need. You guys know what I need, and it's not that. All right, I found something. Then that's that's not bad. Yeah, I'll just desaturate this. Okay, copy image. I'm hoping you muted your thing. Hello. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, so uh, I've got this. We're going to flip back to going into Photoshop. File new. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to desaturate this image. Mm hmm Boom. Boom. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get this all the way back to in here. Yep. And then all of us are all scrunched up in here. <laughs> yep. 
Um, it's cozy. And there's chickens. Oh, that actually turned out fairly well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, getting on the road. Okay, so as we get on the road, because we got some darker secrets, too, uh, that we're going to do. Um, we keep... Well... Oh, uh, oh no, good. I was going to have us, we keep passing the same... Whoops, uh, let me bring us back to the duo. Uh, I like the idea of we keep passing the same scenes. Oh, uh, well... Well, yeah, I think we need. I think we need something to challenge here. Like, I think something has to, um, and this could be where we encounter some of the creatures from uh, Twilight Zone or some other show. Yeah. Um. So what I'm gonna do is, where's my? Look at that. All right. How about that? We create an event. Mm-hmm. Oppress exterior factors. Ambiguous event. <laughs> that certainly is ambiguous. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that this will probably help us get closer to the plot. Um, so it's it, but this is the kind of thing we're going to encounter because we are already deciding we're encountering an anomaly. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like a we're on a quest, so I mean, we need a challenge in Act Two. Yeah. You know, have to make everybody think that we may not make it when they know we will. Well, yeah, we know we will. Um, <laughs> what we, I'm thinking of exterior factors. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything that's either oppressive or exterior. So there's something. Um, it's exterior to Mayberry. So it's something that doesn't mm. look like it. So I'm going to go with a Twilight Zone monster or something. Yeah, yeah, let's. Or uh, as something like uh, from a movie, even like a black and white '50s movie, uh, you know, huge spider, the blobs, uh, you know, something oh like that. Oh God! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see if we can find a 19, 1950s TV show. I got all kinds of things here. <laughs> the monsters. We could encounter the monsters, though. That's kind of funny. Well, they're not really challenging, though, are they? Oh, well, most of it's just us waking up to a weird thing. Um, oh, okay. It, it's, it, well, I mean, part of it is this puts us on to the idea that there's a... Th this gives us a mystery to look at. It doesn't necessarily <laughs> have to be the first mystery that we encounter, but it lets us know that there's something... Something's, something's out odd. This and then we decide to go and poke at it. And they decide, no, you're not gonna live to take the take the, the uh to, to take the the uh the uh the truth of Mayberry from the planet. Mm -hmm. Does that make uh kind of a sense? Yeah, that's yeah, you know, it's as good. You need to be thing. chased by monsters. You you won't be chased by mm -hmm. monsters. <laughs> uh well, there's Godzilla. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's a certainly a secret is to find out that this is more than just a, a you know a planet wide small town. Okay, well, it's yeah, it's only generating like really simple uh, B movies. Okay, let's look at B movies. The terrifying it's brain. It's like a uh, or a claymation dinosaur. <laughs> Yeah, 
that? Like Ray Harryhausen? Yeah, we could, we're going we're gonna to encounter some Ray Harryhausen creatures. Only their real life size are huge. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Mm. Yes. So, you know, they could, like, appear and start chasing the truck and, um, you know, maybe they grab the torpedo. Uh, okay, oh, you've got a hole. All right, come on. Yeah, and it's going to be a brontosaurus that grabs the torpedo. Because <laughs> it makes no sense. It is a brontosaurus. It is a brontosaurus. Mm -hmm. So, how do we use our Federation smarts to retrieve that torpedo from this giant creature? Uh, that's a good question, because I wasn't <laughs> ready for that. <laughs> This was not something I was ready for. Uh, or uh, rotate horizontal. Okay. Yeah, this 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 just utterly baffles everybody. Everyone is baffled. <laughs> Everyone is baffled, huh? Well, because it it makes no sense, you know. The... <laughs> like we're somehow drawing the line at this. <laughs> Well, because it's it's a uh, no, because you have to work on current science in Star Trek, um, mm. and there, there's no such animal as a brontosaurus. Just letting you know. Well, we are on another planet. Oh, I know. Um, and what we're also going to see is, uh, I think that the brontosaurus is going to get chased by something else. Oh yeah, that's how we're going to get out of this. Just like in the Star Trek reboot. <laughs> yeah. The JJ There's movie. always another monster. Mm -hmm. uh, Nuke could scan the creature to determine whether uh, its cone cells are uh, seen beyond the monochrome. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm. I want the robot monster, too. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what's going to happen. Because I sure as shit don't guys. want them. <laughs> the big the she creature. Oh, yeah. The attack of the oh, life scorpion. Classic. The brain of the planet Arteros. The hell? Monster from green hell. Oh, dear, dear God. Invasion of the saucer man. That's pretty good. The woman eater. Oh, what? <laughs> That's not suggested the in any way. Claw. Yes. Hmm. Oh, that's ugly. Yes. Um. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pretend we're gonna leave our truck, mm -hmm. and we're gonna and we're gonna put the torpedo in the in the thing's mouth. <laughs> uh, I'm getting rid of the truck. There's the thing in the mouth. We're all down here. Because we're mm -hmm. tiny. Compared to the... There's Lynch. She's going to yell like she's supposed to. But she's always yelling about something, you know. You can uh, count on Lynch to yell. show up and technically see beyond it. Could create an image to spook. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. Um, Great Barrier is putting way too much into it. Well, if we've got a tricorder, we could create some kind of diversion. Yeah. So the the you know and um and then the, then a giant bird showed up. Mm-hmm. Uh. Because the 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 co the coffin is also uh, multicolored too. Um, yeah, so who could, yeah, because, let me see, what would happen? 
uh, another creature might show up that can technically see beyond the natural monochrome spectrum. Create an advantage to spook it with colors beyond its usual set. I'm I'm thinking, what if we um, what if we took advantage of them having monochromatic uh, things, and we actually figured out a way to mask our our mm. color? Oh, uh, well, using using like color as a disguise rather than it's sort of flipping uh, GM the GM's idea on its head that we can we can use the fact that we have color to to and just it's also like Jurassic Park you know we just kind of stand still and they can't see us maybe eh, well yeah hey good devil how you doing we have dinosaurs. <laughs> and Mayberry. Um, mm -hmm. And the one other thing I do want to do that it makes it more ridiculous is mm -hmm. black and white TV. Uh, well, it's on. And, oh, I would love it if William Shatner showed up. Um. <laughs> Uh, where is he at? No, it wasn't, it was, um... Oh, G Burgess Meredith. Hmm. Oh, with his broken glasses. Yeah. Either that or he's the devil with the tele or with the uh, typesetting machine. Oh, good lord, there were two, he was in two? Uh, at least two. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just grab, I'm just gonna grab, uh, Burgess with his, with his glasses. Okay. Um, oh god, that's just so perfect. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, part of it is I want to, and then Burgess Meredith shows up, you know, <laughs> and a man, and a man with thick glasses is wandering around. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be broke. Well, yeah. I forget the guy's name. Time enough at last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's British Meredith and Twilight Zone. I need the name. Oh, the character? Yeah, like it's gonna freaking let me have I don't this. Even know if they ever gave him a name. There he is. Yeah, it's it's good that they tell me these things, but they don't tell me Henry Bemis. Mm. Uh, this is what's gonna trip something. Okay. I love the cameo. And the reason, and who is gonna recognize that that's Henry Bemis? Is there any way uh, a V team does look like? Has a does this look like Captain Kirk moment when they see the little yeah? I I'm also gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna throw in Captain Kirk. We're gonna crawl up our own butts really hard here. <laughs> yeah, he was in two, wasn't he? Because he had yeah, he was in two. He was in the airport thing, and also in the, um, with the devil box. Oh. Oh, that was him? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a thing that told him the future. Mm, mm. Nick of time. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, so he's gonna walk around with his box. They go to a diner, because I think the box tells them secrets or something like that. And uh, someone's going to recognize him as looking like Captain Kirk. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which is going to cause some serious strains in the, in, the, in the delicate fabric of our reality at this point. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, it'll be one person that d swears to God the guy looks like Captain Kirk, and someone else says, I don't see it. Well, yeah, maybe we're going to ask him for help. Uh, if, if, if you think he's Kirk. Yeah. You know?
And I like the idea that they're transiting between sets. Mm. Um, or whatever, you know, um, but yeah, it, uh, and, you know, uh, wait, is that Kirk? All right, so we we set up all kinds of weird things in Act Two now. Mm -hmm. uh, which I like. And where else is the dinosaur going to take something but the highest point in the land? Or no, the bird steals the bird steals the box. Bird goes to Mount Pilot. Oh, so he's just that's going to get it there for us. us. But we're going to oh, follow him because we're just more hung up on getting the box. We didn't realize we're actually going to make it to Mount Pilot. Oh, okay. So this gets us, in Act 3, it gets us to Mount Pilot. We've got a big mystery about where all these characters and creatures come from that make no sense. Because at one point, uh, who is it among us that actually knows 20th century television trivia as good as Trip Tucker? Uh, that would probably be Lynch. Lynch. Okay. She looks like a TV fan. <laughs> Is this one of those parallel Earth things where they're... <laughs> yeah, it's like, do we have a parallel Earth or... Is this a parallel Earth or is this like a, 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 a an amusement planet or what the hell am I... Or is this fucking alien test? I, 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 I really just like it as a planet that just... Oh, is like oh no, this, no, I like know? this, what's going through the heads of of the of mm. the characters. The characters say, wait, is this an amusement planet? Is this a parallel earth? What what are we dealing with here? And and the truth is more uh vital than they realize. Um the, 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 and uh I think I think she does that and wait the entire town is mm. in fifties TV. Alright, Cookie Track has nothing on us. Um <laughs> and then the other bit is the bird grabs the torpedo. Uh Bronzer mm -hmm. appears giant bird, picks up and fights for the coffin. Uh, winning and taking it off to a mountain. Okay, Jim the Great Bird just did a lord up on us. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yep, it's even better. That's even better. Thank you so much. <laughs> yep, the idea is that they projected an idyllic history back through time to try and shape Earth's, uh, oh. Earth, to try oh, and get yeah, Earth okay. through the atomic age. Yeah. Very nice of them. Yeah, very nice of oh, them. Oh, I think that's good. I think that they're like, they, they basically, um, you know, they couldn't all send Mr. Flint mm. and the cat. They bury to ripple through the cosmos and manifest in other cultures. Yep, I love it. That's why, you know, oddly enough, it's like their version of the DNA getting spread in ponds, which is a little creepy. Oh, yeah. A little creepy yeah. on their part, on the uh, the progenitors. A little creepy. Like the progenitors. Yeah, you, yeah. I don't want to know how their DNA got everywhere. I think it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Boothby. Because, uh, yeah, Boothby. Boothby's one of them. He's, he's my favorite Martian. Yeah, was Boothby a... Uh... Um, yeah, he was, he was my favorite. No, no, I, oh, like, uh, sorry. No, was he in the Lorian? Did they just decide he was in the Lorian in history? Or they leave him well, ambiguous? We can, we can decide huh? it. <laughs> we can, we can just decide it. <laughs> he's doing, he, yes, he's doing the, uh, what's it called? He's, yeah, he's, uh, he's just, he's listening for his own. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so act three, uh, okay. climb the steps. Uh, we decide that, you know, this is all bizarre.
but we need to get off and back. Sorry, that, that, that allows us to just have an active line. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Is that okay? I mean, I think we're just, you know, we're just driving in the truck, chasing chasing the bird creature. And maybe the bird creature just drops it where it needs oh, to be. Oh, that's where, yeah, that's where it's going. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, follow. And it's heading for Mount Pilot. <laughs> Woo! Piggyback off Simon's thought, it was meant to steer cultures away from atomic destruction as the species begins to harness the technology at that level. Yeah. And I do like that they, they, they get a whole pan space time thing because, you know, they're, 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 they exist independent of reality. Which is the whole point of Mayberry. It's like this weird timeless thing. And I am gonna fucking, I will declare this, we are ending with Rod Sterling. <laughs> uh, so I think who's at Mount Pilot? No. I uh, think it's it, Rod <laughs> No, Otis. Uh, well, I Tom think wh whoever's there, I think they should also be accompanied by the to serve man aliens. Yep, I'm a, I'm there. Oh, it might just be them. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, they look like the most disinterested aliens I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, they're just over this uh, when you get down to it. Oh, they're so bored, yes. <laughs> I did love the new Twilight Zone where they, they really just sat down and went for it with the... Uh, oh, yeah. When, when they great, just leaned you know? into the history and said, this is just going to happen. Mm -hmm. Um... Because I, I really do like, I really do like that. Okay. So these are, yeah, these creatures are the recyclers. Oh, these guys? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm still grabbing. You think that they're the ones that can do the, do the thing or should we have additional people? Well, um, I think, yeah, I think it has to be something, somebody besides the regular Mayberrians, uh, just because, you know, their, their, their gig is small town morality and shit like that. Well, it's, yeah, it's created to, to make them better. And actually, yeah, to serve man really is not the cook. Mm -hmm. It's the real <laughs> It's really <laughs> benevolent. <laughs> it's really benevolent. Yeah. They really are the benevolent aliens. This time we need it. This time, yeah. It's like, you know, we put it... No, I love it. it it's a creepy... It, it, it's the creepy dummy. <laughs> uh, I like the creepy dummy. Mm. Yeah, maybe he's the Caesar boss. Caesar and me. Yeah, Caesar's the boss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And also, they're just manifesting in a way that we can understand them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, because this is sort of that, oh, you know, alien super beings, basically, you don't have any fucking say in the whole thing. Um, and I'm going to do a thing here uh, that maybe uh, don't get too distressed. Um, but... Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but I think, I think that, um, somebody needs to show up. <laughs> absolutely. If I can find a, a better picture of him. Oh, no, Bill Moomy shows up. Bill Moomy! Mm-hmm. That creepy kid. His name is Moomy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the kid will do it either. Uh, if, I don't know if there's going to be some problem. Because wasn't he like godlike powers, nutty kid? Mm-hmm. 
you know, something like anything he said would just happen. So it was one of those yeah, things. Yeah, no, he's he's at the center of the Nux. He, he's the one that can shape the Nuxus for everybody. He powers yeah. the portal. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um... I, I like that idea that, that all the TV shows we see that were, like, Twilight Zone came the closest to figuring out what Mayberry was up to. Mm. That's Getty Images. Okay, we're just gonna use you. I think that they have the money to replace Robbie's head. You know? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, they would redress the living crap out of him. Yeah. It's a whole new robot. It is. <laughs> uh, they're heading for Mount Pilot. All right. Um, mm -hmm. uh, what else is going to happen while they're while we're headed there? Uh, let me see. Yeah, we'll just copy that. Remove our former selves. Do this. Yeah, this is just going to be a weird thing. The coffin has to show up in every every shot because you said so. Mm -hmm. So that's going to happen. <laughs> and then we have the giant bird. Uh, order sent back. Boop. There. Okay, and, and we'll just do some driving rolls and things like that, but it I think it's I think we've got it roughed out here. That we're uh, we're on the downhill side of what's happening. Um and you know, the act three is what, all is for uh, no in the zone. To serve man. Huh? To serve man. To serve man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Oh god, this is terrible. I'm I'm pretty proud of us. I mean, I was, honestly, this is kind of a neat story. <laughs> it's a good story. It's a bad role playing game, but it's a good story. <laughs> uh, luckily, we make that distinction. Uh, the coffin is dropped because also the coffin is dropped. Now, do we lose Aldo? Oh, yeah. There's a chance Aldo might have to stay here. Mm -hmm. I'm liking the idea that we, we remove him. Because he, he becomes one with Floyd. Maybe, uh, maybe he replaces... I wonder if he replaces Floyd as a barber and he moves out of security? Um... Or, uh, anyway, well, either way. Um... Well, I, I, what do we? Well, we, we'll leave that up to the to rolling the, you know, the the odds thing. Let's yeah, uh, we stumble on the, um, you know, All right, uh, I need Goober's gas station, or what would be a tourist? Oh, what are you looking I'm for? I'm looking for a tourist trap, because, like, the, what what does the top of Mount Pilot look like? Oh, what does it look like? Um, yeah, let's make it a gas station. All right. Uh, you know, it's kind of, kind of like a, a rejuvenation temple. Goober's gas station. <laughs> Uh, that means we're going to get Jim Neighbors in there, or Goober. Yeah, because it's called Wally's. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and it's a comfort it center. Oh yeah. god, that's mm -hmm. even better. Thank you, folks. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna have. I don't necessarily. It. Uh, we've already invested in the 
in all the other characters? Do we want to instead have have it be Goober and Wally? Or Goober uh, and uh, Gomer? Well, Gomer, uh, Jim Neighbors was Gomer. Yeah. And Goober was, uh, I don't, can't remember what his name was. He was the guy with the little black hat. Yeah, yeah the, the Jughead hat. Yeah. I think we should just go with the characters we've got already. Just okay. We yeah. couldn't afford We get. We have a con contract. Mm. Oh, we do have a rest. Uh, must wrestle with taking up. Yeah, the Hairgiver's Quest. Yeah, actually, Aldo could take his place once they put the spirit to rest, or he could carry the spirit in him. Well, here's here here's the choice. Um, either we either get uh, get Floyd back, and Aldo has to remain here on Mount Pilot, or Floyd's spirit merges with Aldo, and Aldo goes back. Yeah, that's kind of where I was headed. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So that's that's kind of the you know that would be the you know the thing that uh, Mumi kind of lays it out. Uh, you know, you can either you know there are two things that might happen. He doesn't know what's going to happen either because he's never done this with a human. No one ever has. We're we're very versatile. Mm -hmm. We are shit messed on everything, man. <laughs> okay, we find the rest area. Uh, where's the damn coffin? But I do like the idea that they don't care about the coffin. Because uh -uh. that's not the important thing. Uh, -uh. uh, let me see. I've got some goober spirit. Let me get Floyd over here. To represent what we're doing, we're just going to do this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's creepier <laughs> than hell. <laughs> also, I need Alda to flip around. Yeah. Does that, how does that look? Does that look really weird? Mm-hmm. Very weird. Very weird. Um... Not just really, very. Yeah, not just minor. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. Um, find the rest area, and um, you know, what, what do they call them? They, they, uh, is there a, a, a group name for these, a collective name for these guys? Uh, the Recyclers. Oh, okay. Or the reruns. <laughs> They're also, let's pretend that they were in a bunch of other worlds. And, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, the pre-atomic age, or, you know, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, we'll make some, some kind of logical leap to pre-atomic, to, to television. Mm -hmm. You know, root beer, atom bombs. Mm -hmm. Root beer. Baseball. You know, root beer, baseball, and a bomb. <laughs> tick, tick, tick. <laughs> dot, dot, Cigarettes. Dot. Because it, yeah, I like that <laughs> idea of, um, uh, you know, that she's, she's seeing things from other, all these cultures, and that, that's given her a chance to mm. do her comparative archaeology role. <clears throat> yeah, in my brain, that's, that's where we're at. Um, yeah, so she, she does that. Um, so there's got to be some kind of conflict, like, you know, oh, yeah, it's going to be, um, they're not going to reveal any of this stuff until they resolve the issue with Aldo, because this is our crisis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, give the, uh, Moxie. 
back to the shell of or do you uh, assume powers of the uh, hair giver? Mm -hmm. So that's the that is that the wrestling? I think that was the wrestling. You must wrestle with making up taking up the hair giver quest. Yeah, and he might actually decide to not do that and and choose a third way. Does that make sense? He he decides a third way because he's not going to stay here and get the thing. Floyd's tired of his body. He actually kind of likes the new body better. Yeah, <laughs> he likes I mean, all his body better. Who wouldn't like it? Better? Yeah, Come on. Uh, let's just have Floyd appear. Wait, Floyd's mm -hmm. spirit appears. Uh, I don't just for no reason. I don't think he, sh he says anything, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> just kind of hovering. Oh no! And whispers. But to Aldo. Mm -hmm. And, and th there's no reason it should happen, but we're just gonna have that occur so that the audience can see shit. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. We're just gonna put that back up here. Um, and uh, Floyd, Floyd's gonna do the "I choose the danger" thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I choose the danger. He stays with me, and uh, he does. It stays with me. Now I'm trying to figure out a way to have them fuck off. Oh, who's that? Who, who are we well, calling? Well, Aldo's gonna, Aldo's gonna leave the show. And so is Floyd. They're gonna go, they're not gonna take the hair giver. Oh, Rome. so they're, they're actually they're gonna... They're gonna run away. And continue oh, okay. Floyd's quest. Because GM said, hey, take up the quest. But we kind of have him running away already from the hair giver throne. So they're, they're gonna... They're gonna do, like, Th Thelma and Louise and run off. Yeah, you know? um, and what I'm um, thinking of is... What what about some other um some uh, like a like a oh uh they they, they the day the earth stood still that yeah ship, yeah yeah the, yeah there with the old woman in it which is the rocket ship from. Yes. Yeah, we'll do we'll do that one. U.S. Air Force. I think we're just gonna do that. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Uh, copy clipboard. Okay. He stays with me. That ship appears and takes Yeah, continuing the quest. Uh mm -hmm. ship appears and takes them away. There we go. So the hair giver is gonna be really pissed. Mm-hmm. And Floyd in his rebellious life continues on continues on uh that gets he is not satisfied to be let other people define who he is yeah no oh, yeah he was he was definitely a, a different drummer guy uh and then <laughs> and then basically uh does lynch like just sort of ask what the hell's going on or does she does she sort of connect the dots or I mean, I think it probably all makes sense by now, and and plus, you know, they're in the Federation. They, they encounter shit like this all the time. Um, this is some, um, 
Well, no, she she actually asks, you know, are, are you just recreating? Earth, um, uh, what would it be called? Like Golden Age or Comfort? Comfort Entertainment? In the good old days. Yeah. And then the answer is no. We gave you that. Mm -hmm. There, how's that? We gave you that for your uh, your and other planets to show an idyllic life that was worth living for rather than destroying yourselves in atomic fire. If only you'd paid attention. If only you paid attention. <laughs> well, we made it without the atomic fire. We're going to do other things to ourselves. Yeah, let's go. Maybe, okay. maybe, maybe you should have talked maybe. about chlorofluorocarbons, too. <laughs> also, harp on environmental responsibility and social justice. <laughs> Although, I think the shows they did do, uh, the shows that we <laughs> cite are very much about, like, you know, if only you'd have listened. <laughs> if only you would listen. Yeah, I know. The dire warnings of the Twilight Zone. Yeah, maybe you should have. You should have harped up. There we go, and that's it. And then you know that that that's our secret. I think that we did it. If that makes sense, hey, another another cookie twist. Cookie twist. Another cookie quest. Another cookie quest. Oh, this is the epilogue. So yeah, I gotta change that. Are we just going to have Rod Serling appear for the epilogue? <laughs> yeah, we're just going to toss Rod in here for no reason. A bunch of travelers. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Looks like a bit of a twilight, a, a, a time machine. Right? Or is he at the gas station? Just, nah, I like this. I like my I like my time machine. Yeah. He just comes out and says some Rod he Sterling says some Rod Sterling stuff. <laughs> Has nothing to do with anything. In the Twilight Zone. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that one. <laughs> what are you gonna glitch? <laughs> It was all a dream. Oh, it was all a dream in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah, Lynch fell asleep while she was watching old TV shows. Fuck me. All right, <laughs> yes. Floyd's not, Floyd's not dead at all. Floyd's not dead. Nothing happened. <laughs> or no shit. Epi, epilogue. Patrick Dumpy comes out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just putting in there. Redeem glitch. 3000. It was all a dream. <laughs> yep. Then I believe that is exactly where we're going to run with this. Because it was perfect. It also means we get to do the hard reset that Star Trek is famous for. Yeah, I didn't want to leave Floyd behind, so I'm glad we didn't lose him. We were ditching Floyd now, though, but now we got the actor again. So, yeah, the contract dispute must have... No, this no. is what happened. The contract dispute got cleared up. <laughs> Let's 
with Floyd. Uh, actually, Aldo was also leaving. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like you know. Uh, no, it's it's up. not. It's Aldo that was going to be the one that was gotten rid of. Oh, I, I like the idea we'll retcon it back because Aldo is the only one who's leaving because we needed five copies of Floyd for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's Floyd and Aldo. Uh, it was all a dream and uh, Lynch in front of the TV. Oh, Hello, tapes. Sure, whatever. Uh, where's Patrick <laughs> Duffy? <laughs> Patrick Duffy comes into her quarters. Are you okay, babe? <laughs> Is that the one or no? Mm -hmm. That is it exactly. Yeah, it's from it's from Dallas. Yeah, but I like. I, I got another one that I really like as well, uh, and it is you know where it's from. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and it would be. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to shrink her head down and I'm just going to do that. <laughs> we now know who are her. <laughs> there. Sweet. So, okay, my earbuds are about to die. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much, Architects of Fate, for attending this. And um, we're going to be off. Happy New Year. We're going to be off next week. Yeah, Happy New Year. This is our New Year's episode. So, congrats to everybody on that one. Um, and let me see if I can get us to what we're doing ne uh, this coming week. Okay, so today that was uh, Serenity Shadow. Um, so congratulations on that. Um, on Tuesday, we've got, uh, Conan, Adventures in Angel Dreamed of. Um, a sizzling finale of the Cursed Cave. Brave adventurers are finally facing their greatest foe, the Mirror Universe Mercenary, Mirror Universe Mercenary. In, uh, episode 23 of season 3, Snakes and Goatees. Uh, and then finally, uh, Netherdeep. Uh, episode 12 on Wednesday. Much a bard about nothing. When the banditos continue their search for the elusive pint of cream, they find their way to the local Bruin stew. Really? Okay. Uh, will they meet the infamous Steamy Ray Vaughn? Oh, God. Find out on Wednesday. <laughs> uh, it is not Rifts. It is the Evil League of Evil. Uh, tune in on that at 8 o'clock. Um, we don't know what we're doing there. And then uh, Friday, we are off next Friday for Cookie Track. Uh, I think uh, Simon, uh, uh, no, not Simon, I'm Simon. R Rufus has to, uh, Rufus has to go back to the factory for some refurbishment. And uh, to exchange information with his fellow robots. So he's going to be, he's going to not be here. So we're going to, uh, rather than carry on without him, we're going to just take a bit of a breather. And then on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, Tomb of Annihilation. Yes, there is tombing. No, I don't have any form of a, uh, oh, what would it be called? Uh, I don't have any form of, uh, mm, blurb, I think would be the phrase. And, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send, send you guys over to Star Trek Resurgence, uh, small channel. Uh, there are three old viewers ready to rate, maybe four, who knows? Synopsis, yeah, that's a magic word. Thank you, uh... Synopsis is a magic synopsis word. Synopsis is a magic word, like three is a magic number, synopsis is the magic word. 
Um, and I'm going to uh, wish you all luck, have fun, have a great start to the new year. Yay! I think, I think we're almost out. Yes, welcome to the chat room. We're gonna stop streaming.